Welcome to module four. In this module, we'll be working on setting up the auth feature. So what we'll set up is when the user logs in, we'll store the user within our store. Also, whenever the user logs out, we'll clear out the user from our store. Also, we'll be creating a bunch of other actions. Like for example, when the user refreshes the browser and we currently have the user within our local storage, we'll automatically populate the user within our store if the user is already logged in and they have their information within local storage. So let's try that out. So let's refresh the browser and it's going to go into local storage, get the user out of local storage because we're already logged in and put the user within our store. So we'll be setting up this action throughout this module. Another action we'll be setting up is the logout action. So when we click on this logout button here, it will automatically clear out the user from our store and local storage using effects. So let's click on logout. And we have an action for that right here. So the logout user action. Also, if we successfully log in, so let's go log in as the admin and then log in. We have a success and also a failure action that will get dispatched depending on if we're successful at logging in or not. Also, we set up a bunch of side effects or effects throughout this module. Like for example, when we log out, we have this alert messaging here, and that is a effect that we're going to be setting up throughout this module. Also, this modal here, when we log in and we're successful, let's actually put in the username that doesn't exist. So we'll fail at logging in. We try to log in. The modal stays open because we did not successfully log in and we get this alert message. So all of this is being done by effects. Now, if we successfully log in, and we hit login, and then it automatically closes the modal for us. So we'll be creating an effect for that as well. So let's check out the code. So within module four, we'll be working on the auth module, and that's this folder here. In this case, we're gonna be putting all of our actions, effects, and reducers within the global store. So if we look inside the actions, for example, we'll be setting up this auth actions. We'll be creating all these actions throughout this module. Also, we have a whole bunch of different effects we'll be creating. We'll be creating a bunch of other effect files as well. Like for example, this modal effect, this is what's taking care of closing our modal when we successfully log in. We'll be creating this throughout this module. And then our reducer, our auth reducer, and our auth selector. So we'll be setting up all these throughout this module. So let's get started by generating our auth feature in the next video.